Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Patek Philippe 5327R-001. You can see this Basel World 2016 novelty and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch, with additional accessories included in the sale high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this cream lacquer dial rose gold perpetual calendar. Now, since the first experiments with a wristwatch format perpetual calendar in the mid-1920s, to the early 1940s emergence of the perpetual calendar wristwatch in series with the reference 1527, perpetual calendar wristwatches at Patek Philippe have been a grand and continuous tradition. At Basel World 2016, this reference 5327 debuted principally as a replacement for the reference 5140, which remains in limited production in its platinum variant. But for all intents and purposes, this is now the flagship perpetual calendar only wristwatch reference within the Patek Philippe catalog, and it's easy to see why. The watch takes traditional Patek Philippe design language to the next level. Slightly bigger, slightly bolder, just as elegant. You can see the 39mm watch sits easily on my 16cm circumference wrist. It's still slim, only 9.9mm thick with a generously sloped concave bezel. Its mass is visually paired by the concave slope of the bezel as well as the scalloped lugs. From lug to lug, the watch measures 47 millimeters, and you can see the lugs themselves are generously downturned at their periphery, such that the watch sits easily on a smaller wrist, even as it becomes one of Patek Philippe's larger perpetual calendar offerings. Now, it has impressive mass to it, all in rose gold and beautifully rendered. The timepiece is paired with a very dark, unbolstered brown alligator leather strap with a monotone stitch, semi-gloss finish and folded edges, paired with a Patek Philippe Calatrava cross-capped full 18 karat rose gold deployant. Not only does it nicely counterweight the watch when it's on the wrist such that the heavy watch head doesn't feel like it's going to capsize, but it also provides additional security compared to a pin buckle when donning or removing the watch at bedside. The watch's case has immense character. Scalloped lugs becoming more common in the Patek Philippe catalog, they've allowed the company to increase its case sizes while remaining pared down, elegant, and in so many ways, sinuous and sexy, something that can be lost with the increase of size and mass. At most manufacturers, at Patek Philippe, mass and class truly do go together. A bigger, bolder perpetual calendar, it also has a bigger and bolder dial. You can see dimples outboard for minutes, applied 18 karat rose gold, polished Breguet style numerals, very handsome and closely tied to Patek Philippe's heritage. Whenever you see Breguet apply numerals on a Patek Philippe, you know you're looking at something special. Now, Patek describes this dial as ivory lacquer, and it is that. Off-white, it's not quite as golden as the rose gold case, but it's a beautiful complement to it. It has a gloss gleam to it that you associate with enamel. Rich and deep, it appears almost as though it is permanently wet. Now, you can see the gorgeous foy or leaf style rose gold hands at center, as well as the easy to read traditional tri-registers. Radial date and bosom style moon phase at six o'clock, day of the week with 24 hour indicator at nine o'clock, the 24 hour giving you AM PM read for the time at center, but more importantly, letting you know when the watch is in the danger zone when you should not be setting the perpetual calendar with the correctors on the case flank. Of course, you have the month and the leap year cycle at three o'clock. On the reverse side of the watch, as is so often the case in Patek Philippe's perpetual calendar offerings, we have the Micro Rotor Caliber 240Q. The 240 for 2017 celebrating its 40th anniversary, the long-running premier automatic caliber of Patek Philippe taking precedence in the high complications over the central rotors. This watch features gorgeous Cote de Genève across the bridges, tight and even engine turned perlage across the base plate. You can see the Cote de Genève on the 22 karat gold Micro Rotor winding mass as well. The micro rotor allowing you to see the entirety of the movement while enjoying a low profile from the side, a thin watch, and yet having the convenience of automatic winding. Now there have been some technological updates over the course of this movement's lifetime. You can see the Patek Philippe seal, which joined the fray in mid-2009, the mark of total quality, yes the movement, but also the case, the dial, the strap, and the clasp. 
On the winding mass, we've seen the addition of ceramic bearings, high efficiency unlubricated, minimizing maintenance needs and improving the winding efficiency of the micro rotor itself. Gyromax, a free sprung balance architecture used by Patek Philippe since the early 1950s. It's free sprung, it takes and holds a precise regulation better than a mobile stud index. And Spiromax, a silicon hairspring created by Patek Philippe that is not just anti-magnetic, but amagnetic, removing one of the traditional Achilles heels of mechanical watch movements. Depending on where you are in the day and where you are in the power reserve, if the calendar, for instance, is turning over at midnight as you near the end of the power reserve, the watch may have between 38 and 48 hours. Again, it just really depends on when the watch reaches the end of its power reserve, in the middle of the day when it's turning only the time, or during the changeover of the complex calendar. Everything is finished to the highest level. The Cote de Genève, Perlage, polished screw heads with chamfered slots, the edge of every bridge as well as every jewel and screw sink beautifully mirror polished by hand. You can see this 2016 Basel World novelty, the Patek Philippe 5327R-001, and purchase it on our website.